Joss Whedon speaks his truth after this long? Joss, come on. Really? All right, welcome back to the Pop Culture Update. I am your host. My name's Ty, and I'm the creator of Pop Culture Corner. Today, we are presented and brought to you by Showcase Cinemas and TubeBuddy, as well as Sattva Mattresses. Now, if you would like a new mattress, a new luxury mattress sold online and uh, in some viewing rooms, uh, head over to www.sattva.com and uh, message me, and I will get you a discount. Um, Also, we are brought to you by TubeBuddy. Check the description below, um, and if you sign up under our code, you will receive a discount. Also, we're brought to you by Showcase Cinemas because we partner with them on a lot of different things. Uh, We don't have to go into all of it, but we do shows there when new movies come out. Thank you to Showcase for all that they've done for us and all that they keep doing for us. Keep doing your thing, and we'll keep doing our thing. And there's so much more to come. Well, it is the morning, and I got my coffee. But, you know, I've been thinking about it, and there's a couple things that I haven't got to talk about, including the Joss Whedon um, controversy and the, how he spoke out to the New Yorker. Um, so I did want to give, I know Jive with Jack touched upon it, and rest in peace to Jive with Jack, uh, the show that is not the person. Um, you know, it'll, it is no longer on this channel. Uh, it will be heading to a different channel. Um, and he has not made that announcement yet. And that's not my place to say. I do know where it is, but, you know, again, not my place. So it's really just me and Caden, uh, or myself and Caden. And, um, you know, Caden's on vacation, so it is. It's just me. Uh, for the first time ever, the Pop Culture Corner is only me. Um, and it feels weird. Uh, it's, I'm sorry, Metaverse is here too. But uh, Metaverse has its own channel as well and all that. Uh, but the first topic... Literally, literally, literally. You can't make this shit up. And when I say that because, you know, Joss, you're only digging your own trench. Uh, This guy, you know, I pulled out a couple polls on Twitter and Facebook uh, and uh, YouTube. And most people respond with the answer, Joss, you should be, you should be canceled. Now, this is coming from the New York Post. Um, The original article Uh, you do need to pay for. I do have it through Apple News, but I cannot show it. Um, I don't want, I, I don't want to take a risk of them getting, uh, mad at me. Um, cause I don't know. I just don't like, I don't like when people are mad at me. So, all right. um, So here's the New York Post article. Now it talks about, uh, Joss Whedon said that he was powerless to avoid Buffy affairs, denies misconduct. Now, he also denies everything with Ray Fisher. He denies a lot of it with Charisma Carpenter, even though it's already been proven. Now, Joss, oh, God, you're so Jossy. Uh, You would be named Joss. Uh, So let's just read the article. Director Joss Whedon has addressed, and thank you, by the way, to the New York Post for allowing me to um, use this. Director Joss Whedon has addressed allegations of his abusive behavior for the first time in a new interview, denying any wrongdoing. Denying any wrongdoing. If I am upsetting somebody, it will it will be a problem for me. Whedon, 57, told New York Magazine for his reasoning as to why negative descriptions of his behavior on the sets of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and its spin-off Angel weren't fully factual and his intentions not malicious. I don't believe that he added, shaking his head in response to a costume designer's accusation that he grabbed her arm. I know I know I would get angry, but I was never physical with people. He also denied an allegation from a high level member of the Buffy production team that he reportedly once made out with an actress on the floor of an office. Joss Joss. That seems false. I don't understand the story even a little bit. So basically, he's he's claiming the fifth, right? He's, he's, he's pleading the fifth. He's saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 
that seems false. I don't understand the story even a little bit, he said, before removing his sunglasses. By the way, I hope this interview is outside. Because if you're wearing sunglasses inside, Joss, come on. Come on. Rubbing his face, telling the reporter he needed to go to the bathroom, and then upon his return, further explaining that it didn't make sense because he lived in terror of his affairs being found out. Now, just by that, I know. So, getting up in the middle of the interview, getting up in the middle of any interview and saying, I have to go to the bathroom. You're clearly shaken. He's clearly been shaken. And he's like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. Ah, you know, that it was more of one of those situations. Those affairs, however, he did at least admit to having happened and regretting. Whedon was married to Kai Cole from 95 to 2016. Cole accused her ex-husband of having had multiple affairs with his young female ingenuine. In, in, I'm just going to skip that word. In his scathing letter she published in 2017. I feel terrible about them, he said, adding that such affairs with the directors mess up the power dynamic. He defended his decision to have them at the time, though nothing that he felt he had to sleep with beautiful young women what he was surrounded by and was so powerless to resist. Oh God, Joss, you were just so powerless to be the, the geek, to be the nerd who is now in power around a bunch of beautiful women. Shows like Buffy, shows like Angel, shows like Supernatural, yeah, they typically have young, beautiful actresses who are just getting their start, either be extras, um, have small roles in one-off episodes. So uh, uh, to claim victim here, it, uh, it's, it's disgusting. He had been surrounded by beautiful young women, the sort of women who had ig- ignored him when he was younger. Ah, I just said that. And he feared if he didn't have sex with them, he would always regret it, New York Magazine reported. Looking back, he feels shame and horror, he said. This is me. My stomach to even read. Trouble started for Whedon last February when Buffy actress Charisma Carpenter, good on you, girl, who played Cordelia, Chase, uh, and then Michelle Trachtenberg, who played Sarah Michelle Geller, Geller's title character's younger sister, Dawn Summers, came out with a bombshell claim of alleged abusive behavior. Joss Whedon abused his power on numerous occasions while working on the sets of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, Carpenter 51 claimed at the time, while he found his misconduct amusing. It only served to intensify my performance anxiety, disempower me, and alienate me from me from my peers. The disturbing incidents triggered a chronic physical condition from which I still suffer. It is with a beating heavy heart that I say I coped in isolation and at times destructively. I was not mannerly, Whedon told New York Magazine of Carpenter's allegations. Most of my experiences with charisma were delightful and charming. She struggled sometimes with her lines, but nobody could hit a punchline harder than her. Trachtenberg, meanwhile, came out to say there was a rule that Whedon was not allowed in a room alone with the now 35-year-old actress, who was 15 at the time she starred in the show. I can't. This should be a combating hate episode. While I am proud to have my name associated with Buffy Summers, I don't want to be forever associated with the name Joss Whedon, Geller wrote. I stand with all survivors of abuse and am proud of them for speaking out. Elsewhere in the lengthy New York Magazine article, Whedon also denied allegations made by Justice League stars Ray Fisher and Gal Gadot. 
the director said Fisher, 34, is a bad actor and chalked 36-year-old Godot's issue up to co- communication issues. <laughs> to say Ray Fisher is a bad actor? No, Joss, you're a bad person. You're a disgusting human being. Ray is a wonderful actor. You are a terrible person. To to say Gal Gadot's issues was communication. No, you know what her issue was? It was you trying to have Ezra Miller's character lie flat on her chest. And then you backing her into a corner. Saying that you're going to end her career. Calling her by the name of Scarlet. Because you can't make out the difference. Because you're too good. That's the problem. Not them. It's you. You disgust me. Whedon told the magazine that he feels as though he properly reckoned with any errors he made and now is simply continuing to face an onslaught of baseless abuse at the hands of the public. You're damn right we are. I think I'm one of the nicer showrunners that's ever been. He said clarifying that he was done worrying and that accepted people are simply simplify people are simplifying using every weaponizable word of the modern era to make it seem like I was an abusive monster. Just because you were. You are an abusive monster. Now, I wasn't there, but the proof is in the pudding. The writing is on the wall. All these actors and actresses have come out and said these things about you. Now, maybe if it was one, you know, we, we don't, we would give them the benefit of the doubt, but hear their side of the story, but we'd also hear yours. Multiple actors, actresses have come out since then, and you were nowhere to be found until now, and you were shaken during this interview, sweating, rubbing your head, having to leave midway to go to the bathroom to recuperate. Joss, you're the problem, and you're the reason, and t- people like you are the reason that we have corruption in our systems. Kids that didn't get their way when they were younger, get in positions of power, and then abuse them. Nerd erotic. Ge- geeks and gamers, right? We're going to relate it back to that. They, they, they have a lot of subscribers. They are in positions of power, if you want to call it that, as, as far as YouTube. And look, they abuse it because they were kids who didn't get what they want. They were probably bullied or whatever, etc. I'm, I'm assuming here. Um, could be wrong. But now they are, are abusing that power by fueling hate on the internet. It all comes full circle. You're an abusive monster, Joss Whedon. All right, guys, on to the next subject. You fucking moron! You are a fucking human piece of shit and a disgrace! Alrighty, guys. Now we are at the good stuff. The stuff that doesn't make me want to throw up. Um, and, and honestly, uh, I'm, I'm actually really happy. Um, listen, Batgirl, um, you know, we, we had talked about, uh, so, you know, the mural and how it was going to include um, a new Robin, um, you know, presumably uh, Dick Grayson's Robin, and, um, you know, hopefully get a spinoff for Nightwing. Uh, and I, I did want to talk about that a little bit, uh, and Batgirl, because new set photos have come out showing her just being a beast. By the way, my vote, look, I mean, look at this kid. Look at this kid. Look at, and, and Michael Keaton's even in the picture, right? Michael Keaton as Batman, Dylan O'Brien as 
Robin Nightwing. I know that uh, he is a front runner uh, for the role, and uh, it's just a matter of uh, announcing the casting. I'm pretty sure Warner Brothers definitely knows who is uh, uh, Dick Grayson at this point, but they're just waiting to announce it. Or, you know, hope, hopefully it doesn't leak, but um, speaking of leaked set photos, uh, you know, again, this, this one, uh, we have this one uh, with um, with Leslie and her love interest. Um, we have a uh, Yolk Diner, um, you know, hot hot food restaurant diner uh, from Batgirl News. Um, we have the Bres Brezzi Hotel. Um, we have uh, Gotham Roll. Uh, looks like a thrift store, you know, just common, you know, New York looking thrift store. But then we have these. Now these are amazing. Batgirl, Leslie. Now, a li li uh, this is the first picture that we got of the costume. And I was a little hesitant because, I mean, let's not lie to ourselves. It looks a little CW. -y. But here, I don't know what is different. It looks great here. The darkness of it. Uh, I think that they're going to go in. I mean, this looks very shiny, right? Um, this looks very new. It looks very bright, shiny, and you can see the leather in it, um, which you know is why I thought CW. But here, um, the the design on the cowl, the which you can't, you can tell uh, here, but not as well as you can tell here. The design on the cowl, the cowl itself looks gorgeous. Um, the way her hair comes out on the side, perfect. Uh, the cape, amazing. Uh, uh, you know, still the the belt looks great, um, and and um, the suit. You know, I, I still have my issues with, but it doesn't look as bright here. Uh, obviously, there are, is multiple costumes. Uh, there's one for different you know times of day. J I, you know, just like in I, I don't know if people know this, but in um, Captain America, uh, they use multiple shields depending on the time of day, the type of scene, uh, and it was different colors. So there's, they have shields that were dark blue and white, and they have shields that were bright red and, and white. So, um, you know, it all, it all depends. But this suit here, um, definitely, definitely looking uh, different than this one. So these are definitely two different types of suits. Uh, I believe this is the suit, the, this would be the one that, you know, they use for outdoor filming uh, at nighttime. Whereas this one is going to be the show suit, right? This is the, this is the. Look at, look at the cape, look at the cape, the 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 yellow on the inside. Uh, that's not here on these ones, right? So uh, either she's getting a suit upgrade, or um, you know it's different suits at different times. Um, you know I I don't know I, I I just don't know. But what I do know is that she looks great. She looks sick. She looks great in this. Great. Absolutely great. Uh, more set photos from Batgirl. And here I am campaigning. I'm campaigning for Dylan O'Brien as uh, Nightwing, as as Robin. Um, let's get that, uh, you know, let's get that uh, willed into existence, if you will. Because uh, I am all, 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 all about it. All about it. All right, guys, on to our next and last topic of this pop culture update. Uh, and we'll be right all right, so we got Batfleck. Now, as we all know, Batfleck has been going on a uh, tear lately uh, of of breaking our hearts uh, and 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 pretty much saying that you know he's done as Batman. Um, oh my God, I love this picture so much. I love it. Um, remember that solo Batman film? Or solo Batman series that could have been well uh, a new reddit leak um, has said this so we're just gonna go through it and uh, again take it with a grain of salt as we do with everything guys um, but I just got off the phone now I'm speaking relatively now I just got off the phone of a colleague that works with Warner Brothers and apparently Affleck is willing to come back as Batman but only if Jeff Johns is not involved with the project. WB is unwilling to make this concession. While the two were working together on the script for Affleck's version 
of the Batman, Johns was uninterested in Affleck's approach to the property, which would have been similar to the animated series from the 90s, and instead pushed concepts closer to the Earth One comic, which we can now see in trailers for Matt Reeves' Batman film. Johns allegedly kept going in around Affleck to get what he wanted from the studio. That resulted in Affleck asking for Johns to be removed and even pushed to have Bruce Timm and or Paul Dini brought in to the project in his place. Apparently, this was the major sore point for the studio and caused a huge blowout. They see Johns as their Kevin Feige and actually told Affleck that fans didn't like him and he could be easily replaced. This is also why The Flash has gone through so many directors. Johns kept pushing his own work as the source material. Let me just get rid of this banner. As the source material and would freak out at the mention of other writers like Mark Waid's work. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, we have another tyrannical maniac in Jeff Johns as our Kevin Feige. If this to be is to be believed, um, you know, it sounds uh, it sounds right. It sounds like, you know, uh, I thought uh, a lot of the problems that Ben had um, that, you know, but it did never, never quite made sense to me why he wouldn't be Batman if he was already going to be Batman in a show. Um, I mean, in a, in a project uh, that he was directing and acting in. I know Zach was attached to it as an executive producer. It would have helped here and there, but eventually, you know, he left, uh, yada, yada, yada. Matt Reeves, Batman now uh, is what we're getting. And, uh, you know, whatever, I'm okay with it. And, and I've made my peace with it. But, um, you know, when Ben signed on to be in The Flash, I was like, and I rubbed my head and I had to go to the bathroom. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that was a Joss Whedon callback. I, I thought it was funny. I, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, but, so I always thought it was weird that, that Ben signed on to be in The Flash in the first place. Uh, because it wasn't a Zack project. Um, it did have all these people involved that, you know, supposedly he did not like to work with. Um, so I was confused. But this sheds a little bit of light on some of the situation. Um, you know, is Ben Affleck writing his farewell in The Flash? Is he giving us that final, uh, you know, goodbye? Is he, is he doing these things? I'm not sure. Nobody is outside the people working on The Flash. Will Batgirl go in a different direction? Yes, it will. You know, the multiverse leads us so many ways and so many doors are going to be open. And so many doors are going to be closed. But that does not mean they're closed permanently. So, uh, will Ben Affleck come back as Batman? I think I think it's all based on a lot of different factors. Do I hope he'll come back as Batman? Yes, 100%. Do I hope that the Snyderverse continues anywhere, even on HBO Max? Yes, I do. But for now, I'm going to take the projects we can get. And the Batgirl, looking sick. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's pop culture update this has been great thank you so much for being here and being a part of our show guys interact with the show engage leave a comment below that's how we stay frosty and stay talking and and come conversating or if you want to keep the conversation going head over to my twitter follow me at pop underscore culture 2020 um and that's my twitter um all right here if you look real quick so there's all of our uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagrams, and they're all in the description below. Make sure to smash that like button, guys, and share the show across social media. That's how we find new people, and we get new people to access the show and, and watch. Uh, it, it surely helps. If you can't help monetarily, definitely help by using your social media. Also, again, follow us on all social media. We just talked about that. Uh, and become a member of the show by clicking join below. Help support the show this new year by becoming a member and clicking join below for as low as $2.99. You can be entered to win and receive uh, great, great prizes. I just shipped out a $150 microphone to uh, Raya as she won 
uh, but she gifted the prize to H Parts, so it's now going to H Parts. Yada yada yada. It's, that's a little confusing, but yeah, do yourself a favor, become a member, um, and if and or help us with a super chat donation. All monies and proceeds, you know, now that it's just me, there are a lot of costs to running a show like this. Yes, I have sponsors. Yes, I have uh, other, you know, other. I have a job, except I'm just about to go there right now, uh, you know, in my office. But, you know, a cost to do a show like this is time and money, right? Time and money. Um, the, the stream yard is $50 alone. Then all the streaming platforms, uh, writing for GW, um, GWW, um, and, and all that. You know, it, it does take a toll on me. Um, and now I'm the only one paying and I'm the only one contributing. Uh, which was typically always the case anyway, but uh, now more than ever, I could use your help. Uh, guys, we do it for you, and we do it for the culture. Thank you for watching. But it was weird. Was it? Oh, sorry. <laughs>